most of us with children have our doubts from time to time about whether we're doing the best for them. Given the kind of thing kids have to do with these days, the stakes are particularly high. Mistakes that we make, especially in those first few years, may cause our children serious problems later on. Which is why the state of Missouri is offering parents the chance to better learn how to be better parents. Is it really wiser for education to help provide guidance for the early learning process from birth rather than from kindergarten age. And now we've got very impressive evidence that says the answer is yes. Here comes a law mandating that you work with children in the homes before kindergarten. Recognizing the importance of a child's early years and the role parents play, the state of Missouri has pioneered a model program. Administered by the school districts, Parents as Teachers provides training and support to parents from the birth of their child until age three. The first three years, at no other time does a child learn so much so fast. The relationships a child forms determine whether he or she will see the world as a trusting or a hostile place. The earliest months can even shape a child's self-esteem. The concept for parents as teachers was developed in the early 1970s, when Missouri educators noted that children were beginning kindergarten with varying levels of school readiness. Mildred Winter was one of these educators. You could tell as a teacher in the first weeks of school, the children who'd had a wonderful preschool experience and those who had not. And no matter how hard you would try as a teacher to help those children catch up, they never really did. Because as they were trying to move forward, their peers were leaping ahead and just outpacing them. In 1972, Arthur Mallory, the Commissioner of Education in Missouri, established a new department to tackle the issue and named Mildred Winter the first director of early childhood education for Missouri. Originally, I felt more like a missionary preaching the gospel of early childhood education because as I traveled around and learned about education outside of St. Louis County, I found we were light years ahead of most of what was going on in the rest of the state. Years of research affirmed two theories. One, the parent involvement in a child's learning is key to the child's success. And two, that learning begins at birth. A pilot program called Parents as Teachers was launched, with 380 families in four school districts receiving home visits. Missouri Governor Kit Bond took notice. Kit Bond was re-elected governor and brought something new to Jefferson City with it, a new little baby boy. And Mildred Winter would make it her job to go over to the mansion once a week and give hints on how to bring up their new baby. When you buy a new car, you're sent home with a thick and thorough instruction manual. But when you become a parent, you're sent home with a bag of diapers and told to use a car seat. Kit really fell in love with the parents' teachers program. He became our champion, and lucky for us, he became a first-time father and then made early childhood education a priority of his second term of office. After the pilot's success, Kit Bond introduced new legislation requiring parenting education in every Missouri school district. This amendment went from funding four school districts to 535 school districts in the state of Missouri. In 1984, the Missouri General Assembly passed the Early Childhood Development Act, requiring school districts to provide parent education and developmental screenings from birth to kindergarten entry, and establishing parents as teachers as Missouri's official provider of parenting education. Looking back, I still consider taking parents as teachers statewide as one of the proudest accomplishments as governor. 
parents as teachers rapidly became the gold standard in early childhood education. Nearly 400 families in a Missouri study were given regular advice on child rearing from pregnancy up through age three. And the result, apparently, smarter babies. The project is called New Parents as Teachers. At the heart of the program are home visits. Parent educators provide guidance on how children grow and develop so parents know what to expect. We have not given due respect to the demands of parenting. A lot of skill and knowledge is required to shape and, and mold another human being. Parents as Teachers reaches every kind of parent, rich and poor, single and married, urban and rural. What we've got is solid evidence that if you give new parents tools, you can produce a better start in life for children. Missouri has found that starting early is paying off. Studies show that children from the program enter school with fewer problems. Test scores are up. Child abuse is down. The parent who does not live in Missouri and, and, and says, boy, I love this idea. What am I going to do? Demand from your educational leaders this service. You know, it's important. It's crazy not to have it. In 1986, Parents as Teachers became incorporated as a nonprofit organization, with the Parents as Teachers National Center established in Missouri the year after. By 1989, Parents as Teachers programs were implemented in Ohio, Texas, Connecticut, and Kansas. But perhaps the most long-lasting result is that parents who get involved early stay involved. Rebecca Chase, ABC News, St. Louis. In the upcoming decade, groundbreaking research in the field of early childhood development would yield surprising results for parents as teachers. I think about these circumstances, how it went from four little school districts to an international program which everybody respects and knows is the best in the world.